Hi, welcome back to a new year. Okay, happy new year, everyone. I welcome you back to my channel. Today we have an amazing math question to solve. So let's dive right into it. Now, the answer to this is not three. Yes. So this is a simple but very tricky math question. So let's see what the answer should be. First of all, we need to get the domain of the denominator. Because first things first is that you cannot divide a fraction or a number by zero, okay? Because if you do that, the answer becomes undefined, okay? Therefore, we should make this first statement that we should note that x minus 3 shouldn't and must not be equal to zero, okay? Now, what does this imply? It simply implies that x must not be equal to 3, right? x must not and should not and would not be equal to 3 because it's only when 3 minus 3 that you're going to get 0. So, our x must not be equal to 3. Now, let's solve the question. Now, looking at this particular equation, let's cross multiply. All right, so cross multiplying, let's cross multiply. Um, if we do that, we have x squared minus 9 should be equal to 1, right? So we have x squared minus 9, sorry, x squared mi uh, minus 9 multiplied by 1 will give us x squared minus 9 is equal to 6 multiplied by this, right? So we have 6 brackets, x minus 3. Okay, moving forward, let's expand, okay? Let's expand. So if we do that, we have x squared minus 9 is equal to 6 times x we give us 6x minus 6 times 3 we give us 18. now let's transfer everything to the left hand side of the equation so let's transfer this to the other side and this to the other side if this is the first time you are coming across this lovely channel, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and most importantly, subscribe and on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos at all, okay? Give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing and always check on us. There must be something new for you to watch by God's grace. Thank you very much. Now, moving forward, we have x squared minus 9. This comes to become minus 6x. And this process will become plus 18. Now it's equal to 0. Okay, let us group like terms. Let us group like terms. Okay, so if we do that, we have x squared minus 9 plus 18. We give us 9, so we have plus 9. And minus 6x is equal to zero. Now, if you look at this, you see that this is a quadratic equation. Now, let us um, arrange this well in an ideal form. So, we are going to have x squared followed by this, followed by this, is equal to zero. Okay, now we need two factors of um, nine, that when we add them together, we get negative 6. Two factors of 9, that when we add them together, we get negative 6. Now, the two factors are negative 3, negative 3. Okay, so it's like we are going to have a double of a factor. So, so we have negative 3x. So, let's replace this with negative 3x, negative 3x. Okay, then plus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, moving forward, we let us group. Between this and this, the common factor is x. Um, x squared divided by x is still x. 
3x divided by x is 3. All right? Now, coming to this place, we take note of this negative sign first. The common factor should be 3. Therefore, the common factor now is negative 3. Now, when this is divided by negative 3, we are left with x. And when plus 9 is divided by negative 3, we are left with negative 3 and so is equal to 0. So they have this in common. Let's just pick one of them. Okay, have you subscribed to the channel? If not, please, please do. So we pick one from the bracket. Make x minus 3. Now if you look at what we have outside the bracket, notice that we have exactly the same thing. Okay, so you have x minus 3 again. is equal to 0. Now, we can see that x minus 3 equals 0. We have these two y's. Okay, now if we solve for that, we have x is negative 3, we cross becomes 0 plus 3. And we have that x is equal to 3. For remember, we are told that x cannot be equal to 3. Now, let's check first what happens when we actually substitute x to be equal to 0. Let's see the nature of the equation. Okay, when x is equal to 0, let's actually check what it's going to give us. Okay? So, substituting x equals 3 into the equation. Excuse me. Let me put this here. This micro is actually falling off. Okay. Now, let's substitute x equals, zero, equals 3. So that means we have 3 squared minus 9 divided by 3 minus 3. Is this equal to 6? Now let's check. 3 squared minus 9. 3 squared is 9 divided by 0. <laughs> now, is this equal to 6? 9 minus 9 is 0, so we have 0 equals 0 divided by 0, which is equal to 6, and this is not true. Now, algebraically, having solved this using the algebra uh, principles and laws and everything, we can see that this doesn't have a solution. This doesn't have a solution. The equation doesn't have a solution. If you also plot this in your graph, you also notice that there is no solution. There is no solution, all right? So this is actually very tricky, but looks very easy. So students might write that x equals 3, and that is why most of them would have failed the question. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.